Hello everyone. Please forgive me if I stutter. I'm a little tired. I have been absolutely going trucking on this layout, getting it done. And so here we are is the revision. This is my fourth layout, but this is the reimagination or reimagining, I should say, of my first layout. So like I said in a couple previous videos, a video or two or ago, that this one is about six inches longer and a few inches wider than the old layout. And I came up with the track plans where I'm able to run three DC trains at the same time. And someday this will probably be my first layout I convert over to DCC. But for now, I'm pretty happy the way things are going. And I will, in a later video this week, probably show you how um, the double cross over here show you trains actually crossing over. They do, but for this vid, I wanted to show you three trains running at the same time. So there you go, guys. We uh, I salvaged the the poor boy mine. So there it is, poor boy mine integrated into the new layout here and here we have you can see the seam for the removable mountain but there's you know this mountain lifts off for stowage so there you go you can see my little not sure what i'm representing here if it's montana or utah i don't know but there you go we have a alpine desert transition kind of uh mountain situation going on here. Turn the pan around, show you some of the scenery. And still the one thing I have left to do here is I need to go in and I'm going to timber these tunnel portals with real wood. So that. I have some shrubbery, juniper type plant details. By how much I can pan around this to show you all the detail. Pardon me if I'm shaking the camera again. I'm a little tired. Gotta get to work tomorrow. This erosion gully is also going to get uh, trestle timbering. And I know I've mentioned that. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. I mentioned that in a previous video. Here's our, you might recognize the station, which I took uh, from my demolished first layout. And also the RV trailer. And on the clip side here, I did some juniper type bushes coming out the sides. Get over here on the other side, show you what this, these tunnel portals look like. And you can get Norfolk Southern coming out here. Here she comes. You can see the uh, the overhang there, the cliff overhang, because uh, the folded loop up top um, has a bigger footprint diameter than the lower circuit. So I wanted to get all these all this track on a one small layout. So I did the compromise of doing these uh, cliff overhangs there, but I still think it looks pretty plausible and looks kind of cool and again the outside radius here on the bottom is the Kato Unitrack 13 inch the inside radius is the 12 inch 
And up top here on the folded loop, the outside radius is 11 inch, the inside radius is 9 inch. And also on the back here, I have one of the new Rapido cabooses that's lit. We'll talk about this one, and it's I don't have the lights on right now, but we'll talk about this one in another video. Very detailed caboose. I'm sure you recognize these cacti from my first layout. And these ones right here, these are the, the bigger fat ones. Those are the Woodland Phoenix. I think they look a little cartoonish. My wife said she wanted to, I should put them on. So I kind of put them on for her, but I might, I don't know, I might ditch them. They just look a little too, I don't know how to put it, a little too cartoonish for this layout, I think. Let's see if I can get some wall detail here with all the talus. Used a lot of Arizona rock and mineral products on this thing. I love their their talus and their ballast. I wanted to go with uh, you can see there's not much of a contrast in the color of the ballast I chose versus uh, you know the rest of the terrain. And the reason why I did that, I wanted to make it look like another one of my middle of nowhere concepts where maybe they just. Uh, took whatever rock they had when they were building this railroad and just got it from the natural materials surrounding the area. So that's why I chose that. And another cool thing here is I'll be able to actually get more trains on this thing because I did put um, per circuit a little siding. So we got a siding there and we got a siding here so I could actually park more equipment on these sidings and then jockey more trains around so hypothetically I could get uh, five short trains on this layout so let me see if I got everything here So I whipped this out. I did all the vegetation today, all the vegetation and trees. I didn't have, even have these. Uh, these are woodland scenics um, pine trees. It was it was a kit. It was, I think it was called realistic pine trees. I think I believe it was twenty four in a package, and these weren't even flocked up this morning. I did all these trees today, um, and these other trees. The more Douglas fir type looking trees I got from a, um, a specialty conifer tree maker person on eBay. They look pretty good. I didn't want, well, the one thing I really wanted to avoid was, was the, the wire brush cleaner, the pipe cleaner trees. So I didn't use any of the... Uh, the cheaper you know, trees that you can crank out or you can buy big lots of them for a pretty affordable price. I didn't want that look on this layout, so we went with uh, some nicer trees. Can't wait to see what it looks like when these tunnel portals are timbered in with the wood. Alright guys, I think that's about all there is to show you at this time so geesh I can't remember when I started this layout but I think we went from sheets of foam maybe three weeks ago four weeks ago something like that okay everybody Thank you so much for watching. Keep up for updates. We have tons of room for detail and finessing on this layout to do in the future. But I think this definitely visually and 
interest wise definitely supersedes my first layout so I feel good that it's finally become something at this point because I was feeling a little uh, a little bare not having that first layout around anymore okay over here you can see we did the cliff overhang on this side too Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, catch up with me soon.